Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. It's August, you know what that means. We're going back to school, unfortunately, or fortunately, if you do like school. And honestly, if you thought that this pandemic can stop you from going to school, then you were wrong. As a lot of you guys may know, or if you've been with me for a very long time, by the way, thank you so much for the support in the past couple videos. I've been seeing a lot of comments, likes, and even people subscribing to this small channel. So that's amazing. Thank you so much. I like the whole getting ready for back to school but then halfway throughout school i'm kind of just like i'm over this kind of mindset i'm coming back with another back to school video this one specifically like an update on my laptop from my you know the is this the best new laptop video that i posted a couple weeks back and also what i'm planning to do with this laptop or ways it's going to help me with online school because a lot of people do have online school now because of this pandemic and other people do have classes in person but also a vast majority of classes will be held online so i feel like this video is going to help those who are in the same position as me something similar and you really want to make the most out of your laptop is the light really going down it's going down okay and use it to its full potential to do well in school so if that's something you're interested in then just keep watching i'm actually gonna start with a small update on how this baby has been doing the past couple of months since i got it i also have my special blue light glasses if you want to know more about these or if you want a video on what these things really are and if they do work just let me know and i'll come out with a blue light video for those who are interested but yeah, that's not the topic of this video. Okay, so as you guys know, this is a Lenovo IdeaPad 5, 15.6 inch, whatever you call a 15 inch laptop. And honestly, ever since I got it, it's been pretty blessed. I'm not even gonna lie. A lot of people have been asking me, is it running slow? Have you run into any problems so far? Honestly, I've not run into anything. If anything, this thing is still in warranty for another eight months nine months it's still a warranty till like next may 20th 2021 so if i do run into problems i just have to contact lenovo and we'll be blessed but other than that i really have not been running into any issues it's still running fast i do have a lot of things though so i need to start cleaning that out and get ready for back to school and i feel like that's pretty much it now i do remember a specific comment asking me if i could open a bunch of tabs and see if the computer does run slow um let me see let me see if i can find that comment so a comment i got is from trust no one test and what they basically said is my macbook pro boots fast but not as quick as my bros honor magic book which is slightly more faster how fast are the applications to load with intel one can you do another video of you opening a million tabs running youtube slash netflix alongside fan noise please okay so i can do that i will open up my netflix app i'll open up youtube have something playing and then we're going to just open a million tabs just so you can see how fast this thing loads but i do have to clean it out so i don't know how fast it can go let's do this okay so let's just open up netflix as you can see i have a lot a lot of things but i'm going to fix it up with you guys in just a couple of minutes so just keep watching please um i don't know let's watch some office let's watch the office because why not and now let's just open up youtube and have another video play i guess okay, so we're going to go to youtube.com slash bunny blue i could just play the the best in laptop video because this is basically what's inspired by okay we'll put this video alongside and now let's open a new window and i guess just open a bunch of tabs and see how far we can go with this so we have netflix open we have youtube open and now let's just open a bunch of tabs so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 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 tw
that will disrupt people or like disturb people from like working studying wherever you are so as you can see i have a bunch of tabs open videos are still running smoothly um let's see let's say or let's put my video at mm, it's at 360p right now we'll put it at 70 720p highest quality of this video don't know why that's really strange but okay and it's still running smoothly it's still going netflix is still going the tabs are all loaded Yep, all the tabs are done loading. So double click and it opens. It It's pretty fast, I'm not even gonna lie. There was no lag, everything was going at it. My video is at 720p right now, high quality. Netflix is at its high quality, highest quality too, so that's pretty sick. Let me just show some quick examples of me opening like computer software. So let's close these. So let's say I want to start editing a video, I will double click on my Adobe Premiere Pro, wait for it to load, and boom. You see how fast that was? So that was basically like a small test run, just so you guys can see exactly what this laptop is capable to do, how it runs, if it's fast or not, that's the main question I've been getting, so I hope this kind of clears things up. Because at the end of it all, it is fast, it runs nicely, I've had no problems, nothing's lagging, it's just beautiful. So I hope this helped. So now to the second part of this video, how exactly am I going to be using this baby for online school? Now, there's a lot to do and I feel like I'm just going to share five things. I don't want to put a number at the top of this video because I don't know exactly how many I'm going to be presenting so we'll see together what I can come up with what I can show you and what I come to a conclusion with so let's get the second part of the video going so the first thing I really 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 need to do or something that would help to kind of get yourself organized and ready for online school is cleaning out your desktop now as you can see in my desktop there's a bunch of icons and at a glance, it kind of looks messy, but at another glance, I'm like, I know why I put things in a specific spot. So to start off this section of the video, we are going to do a little bit of a tutorial. So this is basically how to turn your desktop icons into the image of your choice. So as you can see right now, I have a bunch of icons everywhere and it's not really looking pretty. So I want to put them on in folders for to look nice. So what we're going to do is first make sure you have the pngs uh, images that you want to use so i'm going to be using this diamond from steven universe as an example it's a png but because windows doesn't allow you to have pngs as desktop icons i'm going to be using a converter so i'll put this link in the description so basically what you want to do is drag the icons you want to use so i'm going to be using i'm going to try all of these out they're white so that's why you can't really see them and just click and drag into this and now it's converting all of them to the proper icon extension for windows so now i want to extract these from the zip folder and place them in my icons folder so let me just quickly do that this is really easy super simple on a mac i know it's a lot more easier there's a lot of tutorials for that but i'm going to do one for my windows people and you just want to start so once you do that you just want to select the folder of your choice you go to properties and then within properties you can customize and then change the icon and then we're going to browse into my icons folder which is located in my pictures so look at your icons folder now as you can see everything is visible i can pick whichever i want to use so i want to try out the diamond logo icon and then have that press apply and here are the end results. As you can see, I removed everything from the desktop and placed them all in files. And then I changed the file icons to these diamonds from Steven Universe. So it matches with like my background. It's really cute, really fun. And as you can see as well, I can't put them in a specific way because the grid option is on. So to take it off and kind of like personalize your background or like your desktop like you would on a Mac, you want to just want to right click on a desktop and then go to view and remove the align icons to grid. That way you can now freely reposition all of your icons to however you'd like. And I'm just going to put them in some sort of a diamond formation of like the gems 
so kind of like this and I really like it this way it, it just feels like a lot more nicer it's a lot more aesthetic looking and yeah that's basically it okay so the next thing that you should be keeping in mind or something to help you get I don't know I guess just mentally ready for online school and not be dreading until the day does come it's basically just personalizing your Google Chrome account as well or your Google account I would say if you don't have a Google account or a Gmail I highly suggest it because it just makes life so much easier because with Google Chrome or with the Gmail you could access your Google Docs your Google Sheets Google Slides you can upload photos to Google Photos unlimited I have so much more space on my phone because of Google Photos I feel like Google is very essential for people not just for Android users but also for Apple users like get yourself a Google account and start setting up because it's going to save you a lot of space a lot of time and just keep you organized as you can see here I like to personalize my Google account so I have this cool thing called Lagom it's a I don't know if it's Lagom or Lagom so basically every day when I open a tab it's a whole different design and I really like it because it makes me feel like this isn't dreadful this is something fun this is something I want to do this is something I'm looking forward to do so personalizing your Google Chrome is a great way to motivate you into doing more work and just to be more attached to your laptop so basically as you can see with my laptop or my Google Chrome account right now it's a very nice aesthetic feel I kind of feel like more relaxed another way that I like to personalize my Google Chrome is with this Animal Crossing music tab or extension so basically this extension just plays Animal Crossing music according to the time just like on the game so it is now 6 p.m. and sunny it will play a 6 p.m. and sunny song or music and I vibe with this so much so definitely look into stuff like this also just personalizing your um, cursor for Chrome so this one my sister actually showed me well she didn't show me but I saw it and I was like that's pretty sick I want one so I kind of did that and let me see if I can show my cursor yeah so this is my cursor it's like a little glitch effect I really really like it I vibe with it it just gives me more of a cool feel I just feel like if you fit your laptop more to your aesthetic you'd be more drawn into doing work and just you know you won't be all sad and in despair about online school and you'd be like this is what I want this is what I'm gonna do and this is who I am so personalizing your laptop in any way possible does motivate you I'm guaranteed and if it doesn't then I'm so sorry but yeah so this is a customs cursor extension there's a couple of others you can download from but this is the one I went with I went with the glitch effect it's very nice it's very cool they have stuff like uh, golden nuggets they even have game references and also TV show references just like we bear bears Tom and Jerry etc etc even Teen Mutant Ninja Turtles um, you know just get it just get it there's lots of extensions to just personalize Google Chrome to the way you want and I really feel like people should get that so and I guess the last thing I kind of want to do is go through of how I'm going to use my laptop for school because that is actually another comment that I got from Naima Khan Naima, Naima, is it Naima Khan? is it Naima Khan? I don't know but this subscriber really made my heart explode so big shout out to you thank you so much for your comments and they basically asked can you do a video on how you use it for school like what you use it for etc do you take it to class and for what and so much love thank you so much for all the comment and like the support oh my heart so basically what I do use is so I will be using this for school I'll be using it for work I'll be using it for my videos designing this is basically my new it's my child this is my child so I'm going to take it wherever I go unfortunately I haven't been able to try it out at school because I just got it but I have been in zoom calls and like class calls with on zoom here so here's just a little run through of how I use my laptop so I would go on and then have I would probably just like pop YouTube out so I like to watch YouTube videos or like Netflix in the back so it, it seems like I'm not doing work when I am doing work but the video just kind of like you know it's just it's just background noise and then let's just pull out oh my gosh let's go on youtube.com slash bunny blue so and a cool uh, extension I think you I should get is this one it's called the picture in picture extension and it basically just pops out any video you're watching and you could basically use 
um, your windows just like you usually would and the video just stays wherever you want on the screen and it doesn't close and this has saved me so many times but yeah I hope that gives you guys more of an understanding of how I kind of like use my laptop to its full potential I did not go into extreme details but if you do want to see a second part of like other ways to kind of get yourself in a right mentality and not be dreaded over online school just let me know because I could definitely find many ways and show a lot more of the things that I do and this is just kind of like a small portion of it so let me know if you do want a second part to that video and honestly with that I feel like this is a perfect way to end off this video back to school is happening whether you like it or not you cannot run away you cannot run away it's gonna come back for you because you kind of have to go elementary middle school um high school university college you gotta go thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for the support i have been getting right now we are counting at 457 subscribers i'm aiming for 500 by the end of this month <laughs> let's see if that's gonna happen and yeah again if you guys have any suggestions any ideas anything you want to see from me i will gladly do that for you i'm open to all suggestions only if they're appropriate and legal and i'll do my best to kind of just do that i feel like the next videos coming up are going to be related to back to school a little bit of gaming again so anything thank you again and i'll see y'all in my next video bye guys